Welcome back guys to Europa, Universalis 4 and the Third Odyssey. The second war between Elysia and Spartania and once again we are victorious. But this time it's going to be a much harsher peace deal. Um, the Spartan aggression needs to be contained. Um, so we've just been successful in sieging down that capital province. Uh, we are about to siege uh, this province here as well that we tried earlier. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try take a few other provinces as well. I'm not sure what we're going to take, but I'm definitely going to take like this area here. I need this hill fortress to p protect our southern border. That's very, very important. And then the rest, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, I've started more colonists up here in the safer regions. And as you can see, uh, the, yeah, the native tribes are now colonizing a lot more as well, which is, as I think is really cool, honestly. But yeah, um, we have also just finished more of the Appalachian Pass. So this was because we finally annexed one of our vassals. Um, we actually had another path finish here. So we get more base tax production and other things as well. That's really cool. Um, so we kind of need these guys, Monongahela, who also has... They also have provinces here, which is so weird. Uh, but we need them to kind of be our vassal as well. But that will happen next time I suppose. For now we need to focus on this war. We've just beaten the uh, Spartanian navy once again and I'm currently uncovering. Oh what are the Portuguese doing here? Yeah well I'm currently uncovering some lands here. I did steal maps of Central America and Colombia so we have a lot more vision there. Um, and can you not move? Apparently we cannot move here. Oh that's because oh I see we need to siege this province first. Um, well, if I move back to Laconia, this should all be possible. Oh, no. Because this is also being... Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Uh, well, I suppose we can send this army here to kind of hold off any enemies. Tehnoctitan has fallen. I think we'll now move on to Acapulco and besiege this. And then we'll just kind of see what we're going to take from the Spartanians. But it's going to be... Not merciful. We've been merciful the first time around. We're not going to be merciful again. Um, we like peace more than war, but if we're being forced to fight the Spartanians all the freaking time, then we might as well, you know, we might as well destroy them now. Um, so, I, I feel like we're going to have several Punic Wars here. Um, okay, let's reinforce our troops. Well, that's interesting. He wasn't actually going to attack us. It's just the... Uh, Natives that are doing this. Okay. Well, there you go. The natives are pretty stupid. Always suiciding themselves. Um, and we're just going to continue sieging. I wonder if I should take the capital as well. But I don't know if I should. We don't have a... We don't have a um, diplomat right now. So I'm going to have to wait. It's kind of interesting. These 14,000 men seem trapped. They don't know what they're supposed to do. So they're just kind of hanging in there right now. Which is funny. To me anyway. Uh, we could upgrade our troops, but I'm not going to do that right now, obviously. Because that would be suicide. We'd lose all of our troops. And we're now well connected. Our Arkan is uh, is an amazing guy, actually. Um, we have an insult from the Shawnee. That's fine. We don't really care about the natives that much. Because we are fighting this, this big war right now. Another one of our colonies has finished. This is about as much as I want to get now i'm thinking about I've, I've been thinking about getting maybe curacao i can get because that's an island this one here seems like a bad idea because it has land connection so it's going to be much more difficult to defend uh still it's a pretty good thing i think i'm gonna not go for it though i think curacao is one i'm gonna take but the rest i will uh i will give to someone else i think this is as as far as I'm going to venture into this area. Okay, let's send in the troopers. Okay, so we're going to have 40,000 against 15,000. We should be winning this. And we did. Good. Yeah, we're just going to hold them off here. It's so good that their armies are split. If they were to hit us with their entire force, we would be in trouble. Okay, now let's go for diplomatic and administrative technology. We're ahead in military. Uh, actually, we're not ahead in diplomatic technology, but that's fine. It's not as important. Um, 
Oh, and yes, I definitely want to go for the global settler increase. Why didn't I think about this earlier? This is going to make our colony so much, grow so much faster. Now, mm, what's this now? A political marriage is much, is as much a union as it is a contract of mutual support. Um, no special favors. Lose a little bit of, yeah, we have 100 legitimacy. We can lose a little bit of that. That's fine. I want to siege this province for sure. Um, uh, Austria's emperor, that's fine. Just because we're so close. And I might even... I mean, Spain is fabricating on us, so we kind of need to get ready for that. Okay, let's move in our troops once again. 40,000? I hope we can win this. I think we should, honestly. And we did. Good. 74%. It really depends on what they... What they agree to. Uh, Spartania. Okay, this has fallen. Are they even doing anything useful here? They're besieging our vassal territory. That's fine. Like, I truly do not mind. We'll take the jungle. And I kind of would like to discover what's over here. What we can find here. But then... Okay, cool. Go to Palenque. And then... I don't know. I suppose... We'll besiege this. What what would you willingly give me at this point? Let's come back from Tuscarora. And yeah, tell me what I can get. Oh, Xeo has been annexed. Okay, so there goes one of their vassals. So. Let's try this again. I want this hill fortress. And they would give that to me. I could take their capital. Laconia. We could take their capital. This would only... Oh, look. We could cut them in half. Should we do that? That's a big slap in the face. Um... Hmm. Should I do that? What kind of... Well, if I go by area now, no. Is this already a full province it's not so this is something i can easily seize and i think i will this is just a province i would just take so and then i want the fortress okay we'll we'll hold off a little bit longer just to kind of see what we can get and you move on to this province sugar and coca is happening to us that's great oh um, let's wait here. See where they move. Okay. We accumulated money. I wasn't... I didn't even know this was our goal. But nice that we did. Vassalize Ottawa. I think we're gonna build a fleet. And we'll reject this peace offer. There is now Hellenic Zealots rising up. I don't mind. Um, we will take this province and seize the, seize that, and then yeah, we'll just, we'll wait on that. We'll see what happens then. Importing iron, or rely on our. We'll import it, I think. Get the power. That's fine. Um, we're sieging this pretty quickly. Now that I think about it, maybe we could go ahead and blockade some more. That wouldn't be bad. I think what I will do is seize the colony, siege Palenque, and then we'll see what you will agree to. I could take this, these provinces. This is basically all I could take. Is this better than... Hmm. This is gold... Gold. But I mean, taking this coastal center of trade is good. 31 development province is good too. And it, it does have a fortress. Are we going to take away that capital? You know what? I think I will. Let's clear this. This is who has a province worth taking? Hmm. I think this is what I will take. Cutting them in half and taking a little bit of money. 
They will have to accept. I can't take more than this anyways. This is as, as much as I can take. So, I think that's, that's the peace deal. Yep. So, that means we have two fortresses here. Which means the Spartans cannot get this... Uh, their army from over here over to these lands. And they cannot get their troops over from here without sieging these two fortresses. They have to siege them. A jungle fortress and a hill fortress. So we have split them in half. Uh, unless they have troops over here, uh, a navy over here that, that they can use to ferry troops over, um, they will have to fight our navy here, which, you know, is likely going to be inferior. And then we have another fortress here that's, that protects us uh, if they want to come north. I think this is really, really good. Okay, now our overextension is high, and that's fine. And we'll get our troops back home. Okay, now let's get them home first, and then we'll kind of figure out what's going on. There's some separatists, that's fine. And yeah, that's actually all there is to think about. Okay, cool. That was good. Let's go ahead and immediately upgrade our troops. Infantry can be upgraded to crossbowmen. Yep, because they give some fire. Okay, then what's with our navy trade ships? Go ahead, protect trade in, uh, in the Caribbean. And then our war fleet needs to be here. And our transport fleet I want in Elysia. Good. There's not going to be any wars, so we can easily mothball the fortresses. Perfect. And we will have to rebuild, but for now I think what we need to do is see if we can build some regular buildings. Havana, Neo Antioch. Okay, that's good. Rhodes and Metis. Now I don't know where Boriki is. Okay, none of these are newly conquered. Okay. Good. Any workshops? Well, any marketplaces worth building? Not really. Any workshops? Two of them. And then what about barracks? 500. Okay, that's good. I think we'll leave it at that for now. Move on and yeah, I suppose we'll have to make these provinces into cores. I cannot reduce this because we don't have the points. Oh. Well, that sucks. Uh, well, fine. Then we'll just make this into regular cores. And I think we'll start annexing Tuscarora if we can. Which we can't. Two years from now. Okay, we have to wait two years. Good. Well, let's see who Spain dislikes. They are currently fighting France. Oh, that's good for us. So I think we'll improve relations with France. Because why not, right? Yeah, why not? Okay. So, some of you can move here. We're trading everywhere. Iroquois want an alliance. That might not be the worst thing, but they're actually... You know what? They're not that good, so I'll actually decline this. Thank you. We need Chokta and Katabwa as a vassal. I have... Yeah, we need these two as a vassal. So let's go for Katabwa first. Actually, Yamasa might accept being a vassal too. No, because I hold a core. Okay, well, let's go with, let's go with Chokta. Okay, well, then let's go with Katabwa first. I want them to be my vassal. We can come back from the Spartans. Hopefully they've learned their lesson. Probably not. But let's improve relations with you and make you our vassal. Do we need... Uh, army maintenance right now? I don't think we do. Let's see. Um, 16. Just combine our forces. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Let's get our troops together. I kind of need to figure out what we, what we have here. Alright, so... Um, give me a few... Horsemen. This is cool. And what do you need? 1641, 1642. 
and then we have a little army here as well that kind of needs more reinforcements but that's fine for now you transports can mothball you can mothball and my trade ships are doing their thing perfect so yeah uh we were we were successful i do want to i do want to put you here and build one trade ship actually we do need to build a real navy right now so i think what we'll have to do is um, build up maybe three carracks and maybe you as well and then i don't know how many light ships like maybe six six light ships i think that's good for a start anyway and then we'll see what else we need to do do we have any rebels no but we have path finished in platus very nice Oh, that's where we are losing the diplomatic points. I, I get it. Rebel factions are still very small. I'm not too concerned. And... Oh, I need to send a diplomat. Ah, uh, not a diplomat. I need to send a colonist. Where do I get to recall one here? Don't want to have the Pilpatin here. We need different culture. Oh, it just finished anyways? Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> that was, uh... Yeah, that was derpy. But there we go. Make this a core. And we have a new advisor slot. Uh, do we need inflation reduction? No, because we already have that. So I think we can just go for the tax. Thank you. Cool. Wow, okay. We're doing really good. We have defeated Sparta. I don't know. I think this was crippling enough. I doubt that they're going to be able to recover from this quickly. Okay, so two colonies have finished. Let's just fill out the colonies here. And then we'll kind of see where else we go. And then we'll probably... Um, settler increase, always good. We gain a claim. And we've lost the effects to being friends to natives. Okay. That's interesting. And I wonder why. But we need certainly more estates. Estates need more land. Neapolis. Maybe I can give one of these provinces to a Barbaroi. And Hitaria. Mm. There you go. Enjoy this province. Everyone happy? Perfect. Cool. So yeah, um, we've won this war against the Spartans. I hope this will be this will be the last we had to fight, but I doubt it. I think they are going to declare war on us as soon as they can. So that's it's going to be a problem. Um, currently improving relations so we can annex Hitachi, which should actually be possible soon. And we'll... Okay, Hera, bless us all. Yes, of course. And we could build textile manufactories and stuff. Do I want to build that? Maybe. I can't. I actually don't have the money just yet. Okay, so we'll have to wait on that a little bit. A new colony has finished. But it has the right religion, uh, the right culture. Well, and religion, of course. What is the religion down here, anyways? Oh, a lot of this is still Hellenic. Ah, okay. Not everything has become Atslan yet. But it probably will very soon. Okay. Now, we have another colonist. I'm probably going to spend that colonist on here. Thank you very much. And then probably on this land as well. Just so that Cut Tuscarora doesn't annex, it doesn't, you know, do that much colonization anymore. Because they're very slow. Annex uh, Hitachi or Hitichi or whatever. Oh, Katabwa. Actually, I should have probably, yeah, I should have accepted that. Oops. Well, anyway, expanding the Senate of Cities. Uh, we've acquired new territories that are not well integrated into our realm, yet therefore important cities of the region have not had the rights of our other cities. Have not the rights other cities do, like taking part in Senate of Cities. 
If we were to extend this right to newly annexed cities, we could greatly increase the speed at which they are integrated into our society. Though they might be happy they are heard, that does not mean they no longer bear the wounds of a subjugated people, and such an addition would certainly complicate internal politics. We lose war exhaustion, um, gain stability, we get extended standard of cities, stability cost is increased, diplomatic relations is lost, but administrative efficiency is increased. We have no need for further complications. Ha, huh, that's an interesting proposal, but I think we will be like this. We are merciful to new people, we are inclusive, and so I think this is what we will go with. Extended Senate of Cities. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. And perhaps I will make Laconia a uh, seat of the Senate as well, just because we can. Okay, we need to wait here to make this a call. Well, it's going to happen soon enough. Oh, there you go. There we've just gotten the points that we needed. Anything else we can do here? Brazilitize. Yep, go ahead and do that. Ask for a contribution. No diplomatic power would be useful though. But they would be disloyal. Contribute manpower. Hmm, alright. None of this is really all that necessary. Let's see what we have here. We could invest... And we should. Morale of navies. Cool. And we now get an extra merchant as well and more trade power. So where can we put this merchant? Uh, we have one here. Do we have one in Mexico? Oh, we haven't discovered that yet apparently. That's so weird. Um, Well, let's have one here, I suppose. Transfer trade power. Where do we have our merchants? We have four. Transferring Ohio, Mississippi, Caribbean, Ericsson Gulf. Okay. Yeah, I think Ohio is worth more than uh, Rio Grande. So this is fine. And heralds are successful. We gain prestige. Perfect. And we have yet to build some things. Plus 36. Plus 69. Okay, wow. Well, I guess we're going to build a weapon manufactory. Thank you very much. In this copper-producing province. So that was certainly a right decision. There you go. Even though it doesn't have that much base production, it's uh, it's giving us a lot of bonuses. Anyways, um, that was really, really successful, I would say. We are now the most dominant power here. We need to kind of see what's happening with Spain and France. Luckily, they're currently fighting each other. So... You know, that's good. I mean, wow, France, the Ottomans fighting Spain and Portugal. But this is good for us because that means we don't have to deal with them that soon. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you next time.